All right, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to the National Chinese Honor Society JFK Chapters Induction Ceremony. I'm so happy to see such a wonderful turnout tonight. Nice to meet everybody's family members. And I'd like to thank Dr. Parry, Vice Principals Dr. Lott, and Mr. Crossio, as well as Mrs. DiMarino for helping me put this all together. We're gonna to try to keep it short and sweet. This is not my first induction ceremony. Actually, I think this is the fifth group of students that I've had the honor of inducting. This group of students, though, has a very special place in my heart because they are the first group of students that were my students from their freshman year all the way to their senior year, their, the current year. I've been teaching for six school years now, and when I began as a substitute teacher, my first students were already juniors and seniors who had started their Chinese education with a different teacher. But with this group, I met many of them when they were in just eighth grade, when I went to their middle school to recruit them and to pitch the idea of taking Chinese at JFK. We had an excellent freshman year together, but in their sophomore year, as we all know, we were forced by larger circumstances to leave school, and that was a very rough time for everybody. Many students understandably had difficulties continuing with Chinese. But the students you see before you today really persisted. Over the last two years, through every dropped call and lagging Wi-Fi moment, the students sitting before you today were so committed to this course of study that not even a global pandemic could stop them. And I'm so very proud of them for that. In order to be inducted into the National Chinese Honor Society, each student must maintain a GPA of 3.0 or higher throughout four years of continuous Chinese study. The small number of today's inductees reflect the difficulty of such a task. So thank you all so much. Thank you for being my students and working so hard. It's been and it is my honor to be your Chinese teacher. And now I'd like to welcome the president of the JFK chapter of the National Chinese Honor Society, Sheena Patel, to talk about her experiences learning Chinese with me. Firstly, I would like to thank everyone, Dr. Perry, Vice Principals, Dr. Lott, and Mr. Carasio, Mrs. DiMarino, Mr. Cahill, and all of my classmates. Before high school, I thought Chinese was very scary because I, couldn't, I thought I wouldn't be able to speak it well. During my freshman year, I thought that failure and humiliation were the scariest things. Um, my Chinese teacher teaches differently than other teachers do. During class, he'll only speak Chinese. If we don't know the meaning of a word, he would explain that the meaning of that word using Chinese. He doesn't speak English very often. He would also tell us stories in Chinese, let us watch Chinese movies on Friday, play games in Chinese, etc. If we needed to say something and we didn't know how to, Mr. Kao will just tell us to just do it, just try it. You can do it. Come on. Day by day, I slowly started to understand and could speak Chinese. Although I speak Chinese very well, there are still some aspects that I find difficult. This is my fourth year studying Chinese. This year I realized that there is still a lot of Chinese I don't know. In Chinese class, Mr. K would often discuss many topics with us. 
以前他做 PPT 的时候，十四岁我不懂他说什么，他写什么。Previously, during his PowerPoint presentations, 14-year-old me didn't understand what he was saying or writing on the board. 现在十七岁我不但懂他的话，但是我更太。Now at 17 years old, not only do I understand what he's saying, but I can also discuss that topic with him. Chinese class not only taught me Chinese, but it also taught me other things. Mr. Kale's Chinese class taught me the meaning of learning. 学的意思是你是你常常试试，常常弄错，常常问问题，也有的时候你失败。Learning means that you try, you make mistakes, ask questions, and sometimes you fail. 所以呢，我最后就想在一些大家谢谢我的中文老师，我的学校的领导，还有谢谢我的同学们，非常感谢。So I want to thank everyone again one last time. Thank you, Mr. Cahill, the principals and vice principals of the school, my classmates. Thank you all so very much. 我现在想要介绍我们学会的秘书，艾宁，女士奈亚，她会说关于传媒中文荣誉学会的历史。Now I'd like to introduce the secretary of the National Chinese Honor Society here at JFK, Anusha Nayak, Nayak, to talk about the history of the society. Good evening, everyone. I would like to quickly introduce the history of the National Chinese Honor Society, as well as briefly explain our society's colors. The roots of the National Chinese Honor Society were founded in 1987, although originally the study of Chinese was reg largely regulated to college students. As for our colors, well, Chinese is the most used language on the planet. It is read, written, and spoken by over 1.3 billion people dispersed throughout every continent on Earth, from Singapore to New York to Hong Kong to Woolbridge, the people of many nations speak Chinese. Our color is purple to reflect the rich history of the Chinese culture and all the many nations of people that speak Chinese. And now I'd like to introduce our Vice President, Stephanie Yu, to lead us in the oath of induction. Hello, everyone. I would now like to lead everyone in the oath of induction. Upon reciting the oath, students are hereby inducted into the National Chinese Honor Society. Inductees, please stand. Wu Yuxian. Hong Rong Xing Cheng Wei. Hong Rong Xing Cheng Wei. Chuan Mei Zhong Wen Rong Yu Xue Hui. Chuan Mei Zhong Wen Rong Yu Xue Hui. The Hui Yuan. Wu Yuan Yu Ji Xu. Wu Yuan Yu Ji Xu. Nu Li Xue Xi Zhong Wen. Nu Li Xue Xi Zhong Wen. Liao Jie Zhong Guo Wen Hua. Liao Jie Zhong Guo Wen Hua. Wei Shi Jie De He Ping He Fan Rong. Wei Shi Jie De He Ping He Fan Rong. 而努力，恭喜 ，Congratulations！ 啊、uh, ，You may be seated <笑>。大家，这是你最新的 JFK 的全美中文荣誉学会。Congratulations to the newest members of the JFK chapter of the National Chinese Honor Society。现在我要介绍一下我们的思考重点，它会介绍。他会解释电蜡烛的电力。And now I would like to introduce the treasurer of the JFK chapter of the National Chinese Honor Society, Jude Jacob, to explain our candle lighting ceremony.
大家好 ，Hey everyone， 在古代的中国，长城是建成为了保护一个伟大的文化。In ancient times, the Great Wall of China was built to protect a mighty force from the forces of chaos. 在古代，中国的长城上有很多标灯，这些蜡烛很像那些古代的标灯。Atop the Great Wall were many beacons designed to spread the word of invasion. Our candles here today are similar to those ancient beacons. Women by La Ju Dian Ho Shi, Taman Nong Tishing Woman, make a dung do hun zhong yao. Make a La Ju Nong Ting Ju Woman Yi Qian Shi Jie de Hei An. Each candle protects and preserves the legacy of a great civilization and promises the passage of knowledge from one generation to the next. Shinzai Wo Ye Jie Xiao Men Woman de Lao Shi, Wei de Ke Lao Shi. Thank you. Please welcome back the one and only Mr. Cahill back on stage to introduce all our new inductees. Thank you, Jude. All right, everybody. I would like to introduce you to our newest members. All right. First up, Sheena Patel, everybody. Sheena's Chinese name is Bei Xiaohua. She plans to attend college and major in astronomy, planetary sciences, or nutrition and health sciences, and hopes to study philosophy and visual arts as well. One day, she hopes to travel the world. Give it up for Sheena, everybody. <laughs> Next up, our vice president, Stephanie Yu Yu Xian. <laughs> Stephanie plans to become an elementary school teacher or school psychologist. She hopes to coach cheerleading one day. And she's excited to travel with friends and family after high school. Yu Xian, gongxi gongxi. Next up, our secretary of the JFK chapter of the National Chinese Honor Society, Ai Ning Nie Ai Ning Anusha Nayak. Everybody, give it up. She plans to study psychology and become a clinical psychologist. She's interested in photography and baking, and she wants to continue playing sports in college. Fei Chang Hao, gongxi gongxi, Ai Ning. Ju Jacob, everybody, Zhang Zhengdian. He plans to study computer science in college. He wants to continue playing the saxophone, and studying music, and studying various cultures, and hopes to travel and study abroad. Give it up for Jude one more time. Zhang Jianbian, Fei Chang, Gongxi, Gongxi Ni. Next up is Yash Patel, Peng Yunxia, Gongxi Ni. Yash plans to he intends to attend college and study in computer engineering. He wants to take up the violin, and he hopes to visit China one day. And I hope he does and uses some of this stuff. All right, Yash. Nie Ao Kai Akil Nasrajan. Akil is going to major in electrical engineering in college and continue to pursue an education in Chinese, which I'm very happy about. He's interested in philosophy and ethics, and he plans to continue boxing and volleyball in college. So be careful with that guy. Hey Chang Hao Akil Nie Ao Kai Gongxi Gongxi Gongxi. All right, Prayasi Patel, Bei Pei Lu, Gong Xi Ni. Prayasi plans on, give it up for Pei Lu, how about how? She plans on majoring in electrical engineering in college and continuing to pursue an education in Chinese. She's interested in philosophy and ethics and plans to continue uh, boxing as well, boxing as well. Uh, sorry, she hopes to, she enjoys dancing and running track and hopes to travel and see many parts of the world one day. All right. And, Last, we have Mia Henry Han Mei Li. She's majoring in English K through 12 education. Hopes to continue studying Chinese. Hopes to continue playing the saxophone and to learn soprano sax and clarinet. And she wants to travel to Japan, Spain, and China one day after high school. So congratulations to all of you. Thank you so much. We have one last bit of this ceremony. If you bring down the music a little bit, we're gonna take over the music now. So we have a little song prepared for you. And this is a, a song that sort of encompasses or, um, all the memories that we made together in high school here, learning Chinese and uh, with each other, and as, as well as sort of saying goodbye. The song is called Zai Jian, and um, that's commonly, I teach them in the beginning that that means goodbye, but it really means that I'll see you again. And so we're gonna sing the song. If you know the words, please sing along.